<laughs> well, this year uh, I've shot a lot of three gun stuff. Usually a good year on a pistol and all the guns together would be 60,000 or so. Maybe less, maybe a little bit more. This year has been a little less. My hands been hurting me a little bit, so I've laid off the handguns. It went more to the to the rifle and shooting the multi-gun stuff. So uh, haven't done much handgun shooting this year. Well, I like to shoot open three gun. I think that's probably the most fun for me. It's the only thing I really can, can, can compete in anymore with my vision, with my correction on my lens. So I can have optics on all my guns and uh, I can stay pretty competitive there. I'm hoping Smith & Wesson will come out with a new 625 revolver, a Super Duty, and I want to do a blindfolded uh, 12 shots in under 5 seconds at 10 yards. So I did it for the History Channel a couple of years ago, but I want to do it for, for, for an official record with the NRA there as, a, as a, an official referee. So I'm going to try to do that this year. No. I just started shooting competition on my own. Uh, really, I'm the only one in the family that competes, and then my younger brother started shooting. Uh, and now he's uh, he's in the in, in in the gun business, so he doesn't really compete much. Uh, there are very few days when I'm not doing something gun related. Uh, I've been traveling so much. Coming into this match, I shot the IDPA Revolver Nationals. I shot it through in one day. I got home a half a day, and then I came to this match. Then I go right into another multi gun and right into a training class. So my actual training time on the range for me is getting smaller and smaller. My time is getting used up shooting matches, which is not practice. So I'm going to start allocating more time back into training uh, next year and uh, hoping to focus more on three gun for next year. That 627 eight shot Smith & Wesson 38 357 is probably the most flexible gun. You can use moon clips or you don't need moon clips. You can shoot very powerful ammo. You can shoot very weak ammo. So it's a real flexible package. You can put an optic on it. It's just uh, all around good gun. Well, uh, for a starting shooter, start small, get a 22, uh, do a lot of dry fire, a lot, 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 a lot to be learned dry firing. So get a good gun handling routine and then progress through the 22s and go into the bigger calibers. But my, I like to cross train a lot. Shotgun is not my specialty. This is probably one of the least things that I do. So I'm hoping in the years to come I'll make it more in, in my training uh, regiment. But, uh, you don't need a lot of fancy equipment, just get some good basic equipment and go out and shoot and work on your technique.